Hello, my name is Ishbin Bryan, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my method of bringing fire into Blender 3D. Typically, you could make fire within Blender. It does bog down your machine, but I do a different method where I bring fire into the 3D software itself. So there's different methods of doing this, but this is mine. So in order to do this, you're going to need some videos with transparent backgrounds. In my case, I got fire and smoke elements from Action Essentials. Uh, you can find free elements all over the internet and you can use Production Crate, a bunch of different sites in order to get elements. This same method is not only useful for fire, but also water, smoke, particles, you name it, you can bring them into the world. If you like what you see, please comment, like, subscribe, hit the little bell thing so I know to keep making these Blender tutorials and uh, let's get to it. All right, so now we're in Blender and I imported the scan of this car uh, from the internet and I'm just going to amplify it with some fire. So the first thing you want to do is go to edit preferences and go ahead and type in image. Images as planes should be checked right here, this little box. That allows you to have this option to import images as planes. So all we're going to do is go to shift A, image, image as planes. Okay, and within my Action Essentials bundle that I purchased a long time ago, uh, I have these chroma keyed fire effects. I'm just gonna go ahead and take one, let's say Big Fire 2, and if you wanted to emit light, which we want, make sure you have your Big Fire selected or whichever element you wanna bring in, and go over here to the right and make sure Emit is selected. So this is gonna emit light off of the images planes. So we're gonna go to Import Images as Planes, and here we have a plane that's pretty much a 2D video of fire, um, as simple as that. And all I'm going to do is bring up the size of my fire with our scale tool here, and then I'm going to bring it back. And I'm going to just have it in kind of like inside the car so you can kind of see fire coming through it like this. Um, and now that's pretty much all you have to do to bring fire into here. Um, and if you look at it, it's got fire. Um, as long as we're not crossing this 2D plane, this is a way to cheat 3D. Um, if I do want this to look kind of more like a 3D fire, I can just Control C, Control V. I'm just duplicating that fire. And then what I'm going to do is rotate it on the Z axis here. just a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing the other direction. So control copy paste basically, control C, control V, and then bring the other one the opposite direction. I might actually bring it back just a little bit. It gives the fire a little bit more thickness to it. It looks a little more 3D. And that's a very useful tool, images as planes. Um, if I want to, you know, add particles and different things on top of that, smoke, I can do all that too. So shift A, go to images as planes. Uh, I'm going to go to my smoke assets here. Uh, let's just do a, uh, let's go dark smoke and make sure emit is selected. Go to import images as planes and I'm going to bring up the size of that plane and then I'm going to bring it up. Let's see here. When we play this back, we have smoke within our car as well. Uh, we can even add embers, shift A, image, images planes. Make sure emit is selected, import as planes. And here's an issue that we have. This is not a chroma keyed image. So it's a video without a transparent background. So I would need to find one with a transparent background to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that one and find a better one. Basically when you're using these images as planes, everything that's outside of the box will get cut off. So make sure you scale it according to your camera. So in my case, my camera is set to here. All right, so now that we have our elements set and in place where we want them, we kinda wanna duplicate the lighting that this fire would create. Um, this is very important to make it a little more realistic so it doesn't just look like you threw fire inside of a car. So we're going to go ahead and hit Shift A, go to Light, and I'm going to go ahead and use a point light here. And let's just put it over here for now. Um, great. And all we want to do is change the color to recreate color of the fire a little bit. And I'll go ahead and go with a little bit of orange. And then 
go ahead and just set a keyframe on your power right here by hitting the little dot on the right side. Boom, we set a keyframe. Um, you're going to need that keyframe in order to do this next step. So right now we have this timeline. We're not going to need this for now. I'm going to go ahead and hit the little clock on the far left side and change this to a graph editor. And as long as we still have our light here selected, we can go to the drop down box here under point light and then go all the way to the right. There's a little tiny arrow that sticks out here. Go ahead and click that. And this little active F curve um, box will pop up. I'm going to go ahead and hit modifiers the drop down, add modifier, we're going to go to noise. And now we're going to be creating noise for this power. So um, we're kind of duplicating a light flicker um, that fire would create. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to scale this out real quick. We're going to go to scale, drag it to the right, strength, drag it to the right. And if I go to my graph editor here, I can just zoom out just a little bit with my scroller on my mouse or however and you can kind of see the waves of the power here how it's going to uh, adjust so I will be bringing my scale back in and my strength up so it kind of goes in and out so underneath the blue line means the light is going to turn off there above the line is how bright that the power is going to be so if I play this back you can kind of see it a little bit right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is turn off my sun on the far right side so you can't see the sunlight, but you can mostly see uh, my other lights. Let's see here. So this is just the orange light that we just created. I'm going to adjust it to different places. Let's say I put it there, and I'm going to go ahead and just hit play. So now you can kind of see this noise. If you want it to move much faster, we can go back to our noise modifier here, hit power, and let's say I want it to flicker more, so I'm going to bring the scale inward, and then play this back. And now it's a lot of uh, a lot of just little flickers, so you have to play around with this until you get um, light that you enjoy. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and dip into all black here, so kind of helps with the fire. Um, if I wanted to raise this, I can right click on the line and hit insert keyframes. Um, so now I can adjust this a little more uh, manually. Maybe you want the, the fire to be a little bit brighter here and then lower there. So you can kind of see the flicker. Um, and feel free to put your light anywhere you wish. I like to put it inside of the car too, so it gives a little bit of backlighting here. I mean, that's only one light I can play around with a lot more. So if I click on my light and then copy and paste it, I can just move it over to another section here. So this one I'll probably put on the outside. Um, and I don't want the light to do the same thing, so all I have to do is drag my offset over. It'll adjust the noise, and then that keyframe I made, I can just manually um, adjust this as well. So now we have some more light flicker there. Um, and feel free to put as many lights as you wish anywhere you would like here. Uh, one thing to note that just be careful with these images as planes because since they are a, like a solid 2D layer, you can see if I put my light in between, it causes a shadow to go behind it. So uh, play around with the lights as much as you can. Put it in between these layers here. That's how you put fire into Blender. Of course, you can polish this up and actually make it look a lot nicer, but this is just a quick run through of how I put fire into Blender. Thanks for watching my video, everyone. I hope this was useful and good luck bringing your elements into the 3D world. If you like what you saw, please remember to subscribe and let's make some more Blender tutorials. Thanks.